Every time we step on the track, we have to expect that our competitors are going to bring it. Um, and I think we do expect that. So every time we do step on the track, it's just going to be a really fast time because it has to be or else you're not going to survive in this event. Um, Obviously, Gabby Thomas has the right mindset whenever she steps on the track. Bring your A game and make sure to outrun everyone else. This strategy worked for her countless times without a doubt. Now she continues to prove that being physically and mentally ready for race works wonders for her performance. To prove that, she went to the 29th edition of the New Balance Indoor Grand Prix held at New Balance in Boston a few days ago, more than ready to take on her competitors, and ended up excelling in the women's 300-meter event. As most of you know, Gabby Thomas usually competes in the 100- and 200-meter sprint. In fact, success came relatively early for her. For context, she made her first appearance in the U.S. Olympic track and field trials in the 200 meters in 2016, where she finished sixth. At the time, she was just a freshman at Harvard University training under coach Keba Tolbert. That in itself is a surprise, since Gabby attended Harvard instead of a traditional top track and field college powerhouse. While studying there, she chased success both on the track and in her studies. She earned an undergraduate degree in neurobiology and global health and health policy at Harvard University. Needless to say, she was a star when she entered the university and left as a superstar, basically. Even as a freshman, Tolbert saw her immense potential in the sport. A lot of people get third in the NCAAs or sixth at the Olympic trials and never make it to the top. It's not like it's preordained, he said. He noted that Gabby's hard work, coupled with luck, brought her to the top. Well, almost. But most importantly, Gabby matured and stayed relatively healthy. Then, just before she graduated in 2019, she broke the collegiate record for the 200 meters in 2018, running 22.38 seconds at the NCAA Indoor Track and Field Championships. Later that year, Thomas turned pro, foregoing her final season of collegiate eligibility to sign with New Balance. From there, she's off to continue to chase more success, both on and off the track. After earning her undergraduate degree from Harvard, she went to the University of Texas to pursue a master's degree in public health. With that, she had her educational advancement well underway. At the same time, she trained under Tanya Buford Bailey. Not long after, she became a first-time Olympian after she won the women's 200 meters in 21.61 seconds at the U.S. Olympic Track and Field Trials. Her time of 21.61 seconds was notably the third fastest time in history, at least at the time. Unsurprisingly, she claimed that she was primed for Tokyo as she emphasized the importance of balance in her life. It turns out that it does have a great impact on her performance. This is evidenced by the fact that Gabby made history when she won a bronze medal in the 200 meters at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics after finishing the race in 21.87. But that's not all. She concluded her Olympic debut with another win, a silver medal in the 4x100 meter relay. With that, she became the first Harvard women's track and field alumna to medal at the Olympics. Two medals at one Olympic Games at that. Sadly, even though Gabby turned out to have a great debut at the Tokyo Olympics, she said that the drastic post-Olympic crash was the most shocking part of her Tokyo experience. Everything that I had been working on for, for essentially two years was just over, she admitted. I won the medals, but it was still just over, and I wasn't feeling that high anymore. So it was actually really tough, not even just from the jet lag, but just emotionally. I was like, okay, well, what now? Unfortunately, it was not the last time that fate seemingly pulled a prank on her. In addition to feeling lost after the Olympics, she endured heartbreak at the 2022 U.S. Championships as a hamstring injury derailed her tilt at the 200-meter title. She did, however, bounce back the following year. In fact, at last year's USATF Outdoors 200-meter final, she was the first sprinter to beat Jamaican track star Sharika Jackson in the race during the season. More than that, Gabby also held the world lead weeks before U.S. Nationals. Anyhow, she finished the race strong with a meet record and a new personal best of 21.60. With that, she earned the honor of owning the 6th and 7th fastest times ever run in the event. It felt really good to reclaim my title, she shared after the race. I was really ready this year. I was hungry. I wanted it more than, I think, anyone.
Apparently, she is indeed driven to rise to the top. That said, it doesn't come as a surprise that she came to the 2023 World Athletics Championships prepared when she ended up finishing the 200-meter race second with a time of 21.81 seconds. Thomas was delighted to be on the podium after coming back from an injury. I learned a lot from last season and we did everything really well this year. I showed up to the line and was fit and healthy and was in the right mental space. I'm really excited to get back to training and work on it next year. Anyway, this is Thomas's third global medal. Remember, she earned bronze in the 200 meters and was a member of Team USA's silver medal winning 4x100 meter relay squad at the Tokyo Olympics. But wait, there's more. Gabby earned her fourth global medal, mind you, a gold this time, only a few days later. The American quartet of Tamari Davis, Twinisha Terry, Gabby Thomas, and Richardson competed in the 4x100 meter relay and crossed the line in 41.03 seconds, the fastest time ever at a world championships. Needless to say, Gabby Thomas finished her 2023 season strong and started her 2024 season with a bang. At the New Balance Indoor Grand Prix a few days ago, Gabby won in the women's 300 meters. There, she registered an impressive time of 35.75 seconds to leave behind the Nigerian athlete Favour Ophili and fellow American Lina Irby who clocked 35.99 seconds and 36.05 seconds, respectively. Well, as Citrus Mag said, the fan favorite delivers, showing pictures of Gabby at the finish line and her holding a bunch of flowers, which she later handed over to an adorable little girl in the stands. In an Instagram post, she posted a series of pictures dedicating her win to the fans. The post was captioned, Who I Do It For. It showed pictures of her with fans shortly after the race and a few more with the Boston Lions Track Club. It goes without saying that she started the Olympic year on a good note, and that's a great start to the attainment of her goal. Um, I really want a gold medal, and I know what that's going to take. So I, I just I didn't even go on vacation. I didn't do a lot of partying. I'm just like, I need to rest. <laughs> I need to rest my soul, get my mind right, get ready for this Olympic year. Remember, this is just the beginning. Gabby Thomas is expected to compete in more races before the Paris Olympics in a few months. In fact, she recently shared that she will soon run a race in Kingston, Jamaica to honor her Jamaican roots. Right. People go and visit Jamaica. That's right. I do want to. If they have that meet in Kingston this year, I will be there. Okay. I will be there. My family is waiting. Um, and then, yeah, maybe after this Olympic year, go vacation there. <laughs> she may even spend a vacation there after the Games. If it's not obvious enough, Thomas has always been proud of her Caribbean background and has never hesitated to voice her feelings for her home nation, despite representing the United States. So, how is she preparing for this year's Olympic Games? For one, she is focusing on improving her physical health through strength training with running, yoga, and Pilates. She also made improvements in her diet. Gabby also emphasizes the importance of rest and recovery, which, according to her, is a crucial factor in her performance. Meditation and skincare are also part of her routine in preparation for the big race. Speaking of preparation for the Paris Olympics, here's how Noah Lyles is doing so far. 